East Los Angeles College. Uh, I'm full-time math faculty over there. We started with Achieving a Dream fairly recently, 2011. Uh, our entire district is involved, and um, our district did a pretty good job of uh, bringing in the Achieving a Dream coaches uh, and uh, essentially selling us on the idea that by using a, a culture of essentially data uh, instead of guesswork, uh, we can go through and implement changes that are a bit more effective. So uh, when I was approached to uh, be on the data team, uh, conducting focus groups and helping sift through data, I thought that was you know a perfect role for me, you know, especially as a math faculty, to uh, look at information that will have high impact on our courses. As part of Achieving the Dream, we identified our gatekeeper courses. For us, uh, those turned out to be uh, Algebra 1 and uh, essentially uh, our reading course on the English end. Uh, that may not be quite correct, but it's close. Uh, on the Algebra side, uh, our students in the focus groups identified a number of things, but the uh, common factors were often study skills. Uh, or high school preparation uh, that did not give them the skills they thought they needed uh, to succeed in college level work, uh, such as you know uh, how to approach homework, uh, how to use office hours and tutoring appropriately, uh, and things like that. Now on the other end, uh, finances certainly comes up a lot. You know, high textbook costs and that sort of thing. And uh, as a faculty surprised not to hear uh, was that you know it's the faculty's fault. Generally the students were very uh, critical of themselves you know they, they had a pretty good idea of what it was uh, they needed more help in and you know that, that critical analysis of themselves was very uh, you know from a faculty perspective it was, it was very uh, gratifying to see. We're still in year one, but yeah. uh, we, we have come up with a couple of things. So uh, we're starting a compressed sequence of math courses. Looking over our data, uh, we realize that students uh, who wait more than a semester to take that next math course uh, have a very low likelihood of ever succeeding. So the idea is, well, let's cut that time in half. So instead of having to wait from fall to spring, uh, they can take two courses in the fall. You know, so that's the idea. Now, it's, it's in the sort of pilot stage, so we've only got a couple of sections running now, but pending data, uh, the hope is that would be expanded and that would help solve some of those data problems that we saw. Uh, and, you know, being here at this conference now, we're looking for ideas. You know, SI coaches are coming up, first year experience is coming up. But, you know, it's just uh, taking those various ideas and making it work on our campus, you know, that uh, is going to be the challenge. Equity is a huge issue. Uh, our demographic, uh, majority Hispanic students, uh, a lot of first generation college students. Uh, our, our second biggest demographic is actually Asian students. We, we do get a lot of uh, immigrant uh, students. Uh, equity is a huge issue and it's an issue uh, that comes up in a lot of ways, I think, when, you, when we talk about preparation because of high school experience, right? And uh, our nation as a whole, of course, has this problem of, you know, low-income students uh, not always getting a fair shot in education. So uh, our students especially see that because uh, the majority, the vast majority of them will test into uh, developmental courses. So these are courses that put them, you know, one to two years uh, behind where they should be to do college level work. So I mean, on a day-to-day -day basis, our students deal with these equity issues. You know, on the math end, sure. Uh, you know, the East LA data, I suspect, plays out in a lot of different places. Two things that came up looking at data. Number one, of course, is uh, always take that next math course immediately after. Do not wait. So if you have the opportunity to follow the summer, just do it. Uh, on the other end, our counseling folks will tell you, do not leave your math and English until, you know, you're ready to transfer because sometimes that's going to delay you a year or two years or more. Uh, third thing is, it turns out, uh, 
and you know this should be obvious but uh, if you get a C in a math course it's not very good because unfortunately that may not place you to ever pass the next course so uh, that high school mentality of it's good enough to pass just does not work you know you got to do as well as you can that's on the math end you know uh, the other end of course is uh, our, our data says that using tutoring right using office hours and all that is absolutely essential you know good students use office hours good students use tutoring